What's up? Or welcome, or should I say, uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, top of the morning to you laddies! It's just not the same when it's live. But welcome to more Detroit Become Human. I need to move my face back up. Okay, I must go now. My planet needs me. Excellent. Welcome back to more Detroit Become Human, where we're going to play um, some of the stuff that we didn't do last time. Last time we tried to get the the different endings, but we kind of failed uh, because the capture card stopped working. So we're going to pick up right where we left off. Um, it's going to be, it's literally paused exactly where it was last time. I have not touched the PlayStation, so we are literally picking up where we left off last time. If you weren't here last time, we made the most horrible decisions that we've ever made in Detroit. Uh, we, we killed people. We took people away from their families. We de-skinned Alice and Kara. We made Marcus a uh, dirty boy. And Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife, didn't become deviant. So now he's still the android sent by Cyberlife. I mean, he's always been the android sent by Cyberlife, but he was really the android sent by Cyberlife that time. Um, so since this is going to kick off exactly where we left off last time, I'm going to uh, give a little moment for people so they can actually get in and watch. <coughs> yes, your boy Connor is going to come back. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Let's, let's cut the music, let's cut the music, and let's do the crazy stuff. Okay, we're just gonna resume. I think we had just started running against the police, and then I was like, okay, capture card is kind of laggy, I'm gonna restart it, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back on again, and then it didn't work, so I had to cancel, but for now, yep, straight into the action, okay. We, we have our gun, our Marky Mark is about to become not just Marcus, but a Mark's man. Oh God! <laughs> We're just straight up moving pe- or killing people, moving people. Straight up moving people from one state of life into another. Uh, covering fire, okay. Fire! There we go. Ah, damn, you guys are great at this. Okay, it's low risk to move. Go Marky Mark! Oh no! Cynthia! Or, I don't know! 7,000 Cover four. me! XW! Okay, move, 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 move. Low risk. 58% probability of success. Hello, fellas! This is, a, this is what it's like in Fortnite! Damn, solo squads! <laughs> Should have built, guys! I don't want to die, Marcus. That's fair enough. Uh, advance! You gotta keep going. There's nothing else we can do, all right? Come on. Remember, we're picking the worst decisions. Or the deci- oh, Jesus. Okay, well, maybe I need to think a bit more clearly about this. There should be a 100% probability of success. Ooh! Because my boy Marcus is about to shoot people. Okay, grenade available. That's good. Low risk. Go, go, go! Oh, is that the grenade that was available? I don't think it's available no more. Okay, can I, like, aim at stuff or something? All right. Okay, here we go. Cover me! Thanks, fellas. Marcus. Oh my god, all my people are dying! Hey, my, my chances went up, though. Boom! Boom! Oh, why can't I just shoot the people? I'm so much better at it. Okay, moving in. 
We're gonna get this win, guys. everybody. Okay, I kind of want to try that again. We'll come back to it. We can't just replay all these scenarios again anyway, so. Oh, is that a, a DBI Mavic Pro? He's coming. He's gonna save us. Step forward when you hear the signal, you got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go, move. Okay, move. What's going on? Hi, why are we here? What are they going to do with us? You've got to stay in line, Alice. Otherwise, they'll kill you. Do you understand? Stay in line. I know it goes against everything we stand for. Her, I can't. I can't. Reassure Alice or join Alice. Oh, we're so dead. Create a diversion. Oh, I don't know which one to do. Should I just get them killed? I already got them killed, though, and I feel terrible about that. Talk to Jerry. Ah, uh, hey Jerry, where's Ben? I can help you, Carl. I can attract the guard's attention. Oh, Jerry. Oh, her? Are they going to kill us, Carl? 
Yep. Are we going to die? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh no! They're going to kill us. They can't. We didn't do anything. Uh, okay, send the cherries. Back in line. There we go. They're back together, I'm just so to die scared. together. Are you alright? Come on, move it. Messing up her stress levels, not lowering them. I kind of wanted to see where it progresses to, though. If I just get them killed now, then this whole scenario stops. Brave, pride, together, emotion. It is Pride Month. Whatever happens, we fought for our dreams. A different kind of pride, though. Robo pride. We felt life flowing in our veins. No one can take that from us. Come on, inside now. Is this just going into a trash compactor? It's like a bloody gas chamber. This is horrible. Did I just reunite them to get them killed together? children. by the men in black. It's not looking so good, Robo Jesus. Dirty Bob. Dirty Bob. Hey, it's my boy. It's Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. Hello, Marcus. The humans won. Our people have been slaughtered. Go ahead. Take my life. Make my day. Don't change anything. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants. And I always accomplish my mission. Firm boy. We fought for a dream and we lost. But nobody can stem the tide of history. One day we will prevail. Thousands of our people died today. What difference does one more make? Fuck. Oh no. I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> oh no! Oh my boys! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> that was horrible! Oh shit, he's still alive! No, oh, let's <laughs> let's just destroy the world! Connor, you're not allowed 
can't swear on my Christian server? There has just been an explosion in Detroit. That was it? We still do not know what caused it, but we will... We have many unconfirmed reports, but we have no official news on exactly what it is at this time. Explosion in the south of Detroit. We still don't know if there are any victims, <coughs> but these events may be linked to the Android Rebellion currently taking place in it's the city. Take that, Hillary. Dirty bomb, Madam President. Oh my God. And the authorities have ordered the immediate evacuation of the city. If it really is a dirty bomb, then the radiation levels will be lethal for miles around. Detroit. Detroit has just fallen into the hands of the Android Rebellion. This we won! is a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. Today, Deviant androids triggered a dirty bomb in Detroit. Bomb! This bomb released bomb. fatal <laughs> levels of radioactive toxic waste. Say it again, say it again. To ensure the safety of the population, the military is evacuating all civilians within a 50 mile radius. The city may remain uninhabitable for decades. So it actually is a nuke? This is the first time in our history that one of our cities has fallen into enemy hands. We are going to fight them with all our strength, and we won't rest until we have taken back control of Detroit and destroyed the last of them. This got fucking weird. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. May God bless you all, and may God bless the United States of America. Bomb. Wow. That's kind of a messed up ending. So many androids. Oh no, is that Alice? Oh no, my girls. Why would you show this to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a harsh ending. <laughs> well then. <laughs> we blew everything up. Everybody's dead. Except Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. Oh my god, do I actually have to sit through the entire credits? No! No! I want to go back! Oh, balls! <laughs> Jeez! Okay, we're not ending it here, obviously. I'm going to go back and do a bunch of other stuff. Um, heck, I believe. But, um, that was one of the endings that I was trying to get the last time. So I wanted to see what happened when you let off the dirty bomb. People were saying that it was like the nuclear ending. I'm like, okay, it's just a bomb in a car somewhere. But they said that there was like radioactive waste and everything. So it was like a, a nuclear thing. Because some of the components that were detonated were of radioactive origin, I think. It's so messed up. Okay, why do I have to sit through the entire credits again? I've watched them once already. end so I can just go back to the main menu and pick some other options because I want to go to one of the endings and make Marcus sing because I haven't done that and that's one that everyone wants me to do I don't know why is he gonna sing like Despacito or something um, and there's some other scenes that I want to do as well um, I want to go back to Zlatko's place because there's some stuff there that I think would be fun to try out here and there. Um, apparently there's a polar bear in his house that I missed. I want to go back. What other scenes do I want to do? There's some stuff. <clears throat> I might go back and do the interrogation with the deviants as Connor in the kitchen. 
Um, there's something that people said that I shouldn't do there. Oh, to let Connor die on the ground? I don't know why. So some of the scenes are a bit annoying because you have to, like, play entire sections again. <coughs> oh, he sings Despacito too. My mistake, of course. And I want to wait through the credits because I could just close the game and restart that. It might be faster, but I think I don't think it'll save all the decisions I just made. And I want to fill out the flowchart as much as I can. Oh yeah, and there's some stuff at the very end with Marcus giving his speech. If I don't do the exit program with Connor... Hey, are they done? Okay, so you have to watch the main credits and then everybody else... You can just skip. Sorry, everybody else who worked on the game. Okay, what I'm going to do is move my face. Ooh, that's the wrong thing to move. I want to move my face to the bottom. Whee! Um, mother of God. Marcus died as Detroit burns. Okay, my capture card is doing the super laggy thing again. That's what happens when everything freezes and then it cuts back in. Um. Okay, battle for Detroit, Marcus. Demonstration. No, I don't want that one. Connor's last mission. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here that I didn't do. Prepare to shoot. So Hank intervenes. So there's something here that I can do between Hank and preparing to shoot. And in that scenario, I got Connor killed by Hank. Hank just held him and dropped him off the roof, which was nuts. And I almost cried because my boy, my android sent by Cyberlife, ended up dying. Okay, you didn't really get anything here. What's in this? Ugh, it's so laggy. Stop conversion to save Hank. Attack new- Oh, yeah. That's Connor's thing. I thought that was, this was Kara's. Okay. Kara leaving Detroit. Kara captured. This is the one we just did. God, there's so many options for all the scenes. Fucking hell. They all just kind of boil down to the same scenarios, though, so everything leads to this anyway. Uh, okay, we'll continue on. Enough looking at flow charts and everything. Um, chapters. Where are we going? Let's go to the, the Marcus singing part. That's way near the end, right? Capital Park, it's after that. Crossroads? Battle for Detroit. Um. Is this it? Okay, this is Marcus's one. Marcus on sacred ground. Marcus chose to fight for his people. Marcus chose to protest for his people. Where's the... Anti peaceful protest, spare Connor, talk to Connor. It might be this one. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Let me check this one real quick. I think this is after all that happens. Because it was the part where I kissed North in my regular playthrough. Okay, this is Connor's. Jeez, there's so many options. Okay, this is the rebellion one. Revolution, I mean. And this is the other one. Talk to officer. Android stand their ground. Oh no, it's this one. Okay. Let's launch this. And save. So we pick some other options in this one. Battle for Detroit, yeah, okay. I wish I could ask stuff to the chat and have you respond in time, but there's like 20 seconds of a delay. 
At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. A bomb! Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security so agencies. answer all these questions again. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities yep. immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest to assured cooperate that with everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Ma Madam President! Madam President! Please. Are you worried that Please. people don't like you? Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Y'all, please? Over here, please? A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. <laughs> that is the wrong answer when you say that a whole bunch of cobalt please. just got missing. Please! 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 Madam President! Madam President! Please! Madam President! Madam President, please! Please! Please, Madam President! Please! <laughs> please! <laughs> you guys are so needy! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon has track it down located. and neutralize it. Madam President. God, you guys and your questions. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized and all Is it IT true that the androids are sent by Cyberlife? To avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Thank you. That will be all. Hey, congrats, thank you for the questions. Good job. I keep trying to tweet out the, the link to the stream, but it keeps saying that we're playing Captain Spirit again. We're not playing Captain Spirit. We're playing the Detroit Become Human. Okay, I don't know what to do with Kara at this point. She's captured again. Where are they taking us? Memphis. We both have to be strong, Alice. And I'm walking in Memphis. Come on, get out. Get a move on. Out. Okay, come on. We just got here. I thought when I exploded the bomb, it was going to be a bigger deal. I wonder if I could be in a different location to explode it. Because I was blocked inside a building. I want to be, like, right next to it. Just like, boom. Back on your so head. Fly away. Abandon Alice? Can I do that? Oh, I can stress her out. I didn't get her stressed to be full. <gasps> Line up with the others. Oh right yeah, if now. we get to that point again, I can um not join Alice. <sighs> okay, I'll try and get her stressed to a hundred. Forward! I'm scared. You should be! I don't want to go. There's no choice, Alice. Next! No, Cara. I, I can't. That's so sad. Frightened. Alice, if you don't do what they say, they'll kill us. <laughs> Why would you say that? You first. Uh... You really need to do this. Just do it for me. Do it for the vine, Alice. Come on, it's your turn. Hooray! Are you with Quinn D skin? Look that it's called the recycling area as well. <clears throat> To get her stressed all the way down, don't do the officer's commands. But I'm trying to get her 
Hurry up. Get trying in. to get her stress mega high. I'm trying to like really stress her out. I'm trying to get her stress to 100%. Is Alice an android? Yep. I would say spoilers, but I figured that this is like Deactivate your skin. way Hurry late up. in the game by now. Okay, deactivate my skin. I you could do that in real life. You need to deactivate your skin and you're just blood and sinew. You abandon Alice by volunteering to remove Please android go. body and escape in the truck? You have to. You can volunteer to take the dead guy and once you get to the dumping spot, there is a truck that you can climb on and leave Alice behind. Oh. That's so sad. Off. Put your clothes in the dumpster. That is how you get 100% stress. What? To up the stress of Alice, you have to not do as the officers say. Okay, I'll try that. Hogs. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <laughs> Let's go, little one. Let's walk our naked asses over to the line. You, take this one of the dump. No, no. Please I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. Oh no! No, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's so sad. Why would anyone play the game this way? This is like pulling out your own teeth. Throw it over there. Move it. So we can just get on a truck and leave? Poor Alice! That's what she gets for lying to us all this time about being a robot! Drop that ass. Commissioned, go back to Alice. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Alice, I'm sorry! I'm just doing it for the playthrough, for the meme! Every fiber of my body hates doing this. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day well. the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us. So I want to see if I can actually nothing. get through public opinion. They're not very supportive of us. They're not very supportive of genocide. I want to see if there's a way of actually getting through all of this section as Marcus, but using guns. And because some of these scenarios means that you have to replay them, like replay massive chunks of them, I might just use like a walkthrough thing. Just to see what answers and solutions and stuff I can pick. 
to get the endings that I want. Because I want to see all the endings. I don't really care what way I get to them. Go, Marcus. He should just run and throw that as, like, the first warning shot. Stab a dude in the crowd. back and play the other sections to get the public's opinion back up just so I can do the the singing ending oh, that's annoying agent 47 your target is Marcus Daddy got me this gun for Christmas. What? <coughs> My name is Sniper. I'm the android set by Cyberlife. Hey, Hank. You shouldn't do this, Connor. Out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. You're gonna kill a man who wants to be free. That is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. Oh, That's what I thought for a long who time, but I you? was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. to go with this now because I picked deviants are a threat to humans Hank they're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war they have to be stopped we're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants humanity never learns from its mistakes Connor this time it could be different it could be different okay I did all the worst ones last time so let's try and be friendly I have a mission to accomplish Hank it's best if you just stay out of this uh oh. Step away from the ledge. Don't hurt my boy. I want to try and get a different outcome than last time. Uh. After all we've been through, I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. I thought we were bro amigos. But then I realized you never change. You know. Feel emotions, Connor. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word. Exposed. What are you gonna do, Hank? You gonna shoot me? I thought android lives mattered to you. Oh, Get away from there. the fucking ledge. You know I'll shoot you if I have to. Ah. Oh, wrong ah. button. Fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God, it's so delayed. I can't. I can't do them. Yeah, shaky, 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 baby. Ah, fuck me. I'm just gonna end up getting Connor killed again. Hank, my living being, 
You're just a machine. We just got the same thing again. You're a machine, Connor. Just a machine. I wanted to get a different one. Can you get a different one? I should have thrown the gun. <clears throat> And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. You they killed seem Connor. to be headed like towards the camps where the Android androids have been in trains. Oh no, I pulled out my headphones. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or death. Uh, one freedom, please. Attack! Oh! Alright, this time I have to try and do it right. with him this time uh stay here hide here don't move till it's over okay but I only had 10 seconds. Coordinate your attack. Okay. I don't know what one to do here. I don't know what way to do it. 
Um, let's let's look it up. <laughs> I put it in Detroit, and one of the top searches was Detroit become Connor, because I memes. Um, battle for Detroit. I want to figure out the best way forward. I really wish I could fix this fix this fucking capture card thing. What ends up happening is that the capture card skips, and that's why the God of War series was out of sync, because the capture card skips frames, and then just merges scenes together, because it can't keep updating the, the stuff. And then, on OBS, it ends up just creating this huge input lag, so when I press a button, it takes like two seconds for it to register. So it just makes all of this these QTEs a pain in the ass to be able to do and moving the camera is super slow. Okay, I don't want this one. I want the bad one. Um Keep ordering cover fire, but I tried that last time and people got killed anyway. Uh, maybe I should search revolution. None of these are helpful. There's too many options! Uh, fuck. Let me see if I can search for... No. Whatever, I guess I'm just gonna have to fucking wing it. Make the guys behind the trash bins advance. Order some to do covering fire and then one squad to charge. Don't do cover fire, charge. Everyone's saying completely opposite things, so... Um... You guys covering signal. fire? And you guys charge, maybe. In position! So you guys can push the bin, right? Follow me! Or you can just push out and put it open. Hey, that works. We can't move forward! That machine gun has taken down everything that moves! Okay, can I push forward? See, this is where I got stuck last time. Last time I told everyone to charge, they all died. I told them all to cover, they all died. I told some to cover and some to charge, they all died. Uh, what, what should I do for this one? Eat chicken nuggets. Trust me, they get jealous. That's not helpful. <laughs> when the MG1 is up, you have to tell the nearest one to give covering fire and the others to charge. Okay. Two cover, one charge. So maybe I should get the first ones to cover and the second one to charge. Ah. Stand by. Cover. Stand by. And charge. In position. Because we need to make ground. For Jericho. Everyone still dies. I can use. Stand by. So if you're recovering and you two charge. On my signal. In position. Where's my reason to say I can't just retry this? I have to like get it right. For Jericho! Is it 
work either. Stand by. Stand by. Um. I did all the covering fire last time. Maybe you guys should charge and the position. one in the back should cover. In position. We're running out of time as well. Stand by. I don't know, man. Whatever. Four. Jericho! Hey, that worked. Okay, there we go. Okay, we can do this now. Oh, is that a fucking tank? Okay, we're attacking you, I guess. Oh god, you're trying to make me do QTEs. God, I'm trying to press them as fast as I can. <laughs> okay, I think I need to replay that but get my chance of success higher because I ran out of troops. For cyber life! It took me a while to find you, Marcus. Hey, he's back. There he is. <laughs> oh no! My weakness! The snow! Control Connor, control Marcus. Control Marcus! It's funny as well because. Oh, hang on. Come on. Shaky ass QTEs. I can't do those ones at the time. The, the motion controls. Motion controls are garbage! Killed by Marcus. I haven't been able to do that yet. This is just the same ending as last time. Well, without the dirty bomb. You guys know me. You guys know I'm able to do the QTEs. Go on, get in. Move it. Poor Solo Alice. Does Karen just go to Canada on her own? That's so sad. Now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hart Plaza oh, camp is so the now Andres under control. Take over this time. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment, and they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets. We didn't get to set off our bomb. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. And initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as Marcus was shot during the fighting. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the Android Rebellion. The destruction of the androids. Maybe Alice should play duos. Continue. Planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. So a similar ending, but the androids were all defeated this time instead of surviving. Except Kara is the lone survivor. 
right? This is a bad ending? Yeah, it's supposed to be. That's what we're doing. I'm trying to get all the different variations of them. That's a cool shot. That's just it? Oh my god! Such a blue balls ending! Okay, we have to watch the start of the credits again. <sighs> that ending is... At least the other ending is fulfilling in a sense. But if you want to go bad, that you get, like, you get to blow up the whole town, basically. The androids take over. It's so deviously over the top. This one is just anticlimactic. It's like all deviants are dead and Kara's the only one alive. Oh well. Um. That's just not a satisfying ending one way or the other. I'm trying to figure out now how I get back to... Because I want to get the singing ending, but now if I just go to Battle for Detroit, it saved my progress as doing bad stuff, so... I'm trying to go, like, way back and play huge chunks of this just to get the public opinion back up. I wish I could choose a chapter and pick blue or red at the start, so going into that, then you could get the choices all based on the best blue options, or all the best red options kind of thing. I want to restart my capture card, but I don't want to mess anything up again. Maybe if I just do this, this, is it better now? <sighs> so if I restart the capture card, it's just going to break again. And I'd have to restart the stream. I don't want to do that. Other stuff could we do? Um, I mean, there's stuff that we could do, like the the scenes with Marcus and Leo. But from what I understand, it doesn't really make a difference. That Marcus's stuff kind of progresses anyway. I like these ones because they're huge differences in the endings. Do I think Hank is a D-bag? No. Hank's great. Hank wants the best. And even at the start, when he ends up being sort of harsh and kind of over the top, you kind of understand why, because his son was killed. Well, not killed. His son died in an accident. And then he just didn't like deviance because of that. Oh. Connor. Connor's still I'm so allowed glad to live. to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customer's trust. But it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, is it a car? This is the new RK900. Faster. Stronger. My boy got an upgrade! And equipped with the latest technologies. No. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. Oh, no! You'll be deactivated. 
You can go now. Oh, Connor, no, my boy! That's not Connor! It's modeled on Connor, but that's a fake, a phony! That's not the android sent by Cyberlife! Hello, Amanda! Don't sniff it, you're not even real! Oh, he's got weird eyes. He looks like Connor, but he's just slightly different. Oh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I skip this? Alice died in recycling. I still didn't get her stress all the way to the top. Um. Okay. Let's go to the chapters again. Okay, they didn't fix the lag. Um, what else could we do? On the run, there's a whole bunch of sections in the on the run stuff that I didn't do. Like going to the different locations. I went to the car. I wonder what it's like if I robbed the place and then spend the night. I want to do that. I'm going to rob the the store because I robbed the store last time but I felt bad and didn't end up staying the night. So I want to rob the I want to rob the store and then actually stay in the motel and see how we get through that. And then after that we'll do the interrogation scene with Connor and the deviants again. I just want to do that right now because I did it like two or three times last time and it just goes on forever. <coughs> Hank is dank. Who agrees with me? Hank is dad. Oh yeah, and I can go to the house then after that. Yeah, I'll do that after this then. Oh my god, can you load? Do 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 do. My name is Connor. And the android said by cyber life. There we go. Oh no, this is oh, this is the wrong one. Shit. God damn it. I spent all that time loading just to get to the wrong scene. I have to go to the scene before that. My bad. This is why I wish some of these games were on PC. Because they would just load twice as fast. Um... I could also go back to the Todd scene. Yeah, so on the run, so I need to go to this one. What's this one called? My face is blocking it. Fugitives! No, I don't want to launch the flowchart, I want to launch the chapter. Okay, there we go. Blah, blah. Stephanie Webb, you can peacefully protest at the- or peacefully rebel at the church. Really? Catherine Kelly, notice me, senpai. There you go. Uh, fancy banana. Boonana. When are you gonna play more Jurassic World? Um, I'll get to it eventually. Ray Diamond, what were you doing at the O2 the other day? I was going to see Pearl Jam with my brother. It was super fun. Catherine Cross, charge, charge, cover. Sorry, I got to it late. I'm Sean, the android sent by Cyberlife. Except, Anderson, you said the android sent my Cyberlife. Thank you. Thank you for using Detroit buses. 
Gotta get off the bus! Mike, forever. Right. If I eat trains, does that make me a metal mouth? End of the line. Why, yeah, why would you need to, to eat trains for that? Just eat metal. So for this scene, I'm gonna have to be a little bit of a dick towards Alice. We have to go. I mean, in most of these scenes, I'm gonna have to be an asshole because I've done all the neutral or good options. So I have to steal the clothes and I have to steal the money. Missed my chance to even press the button. Goodbye. Now I don't feel so bad for you because I know that you're just simulating okay? cold. She's a robot. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Andrew Drago, holy god, that's super generous, thank you. Connor for life. Connor is the android sent by Cyberlife. And my best friend of all time. But Jesus, on, Andrew, thank you so much, wow. Um, okay, where is this door? Oh, right there. Tyler, Punzel, when will you be doing a signing at PAX? Um, whenever I'm at PAX, I don't know, I, the, the schedules aren't put out immediately, so. I don't know yet. Oh yeah, Alice leaves, doesn't she? Okay, I'm not so cold. <laughs> I'm not so cold because I'm a robot! We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Oh, that's how we found out about Zlatko. But that's on the other side of town. Now I we need a place for tonight. Did a Hank suicide ending, but I have to get Connor killed like ten times, and I'd have to play through so many different scenes. I'd almost have to play the entire game again. God, I love that reflection. That's so pretty. Neon signs rain nighttime and reflection. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. That's how you make At things look out nice. Of the cold. Hello! My name what is Kara! I'm the android sent by Cyberlife! I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go. If you're not gonna buy anything. I mean, unless he owns the store. Cha-ching. Find a plan. Oh, it's over here, look. I found it! All good plans start with cans of lemon juice. Okay. Alice. You gotta go create a ruckus. Use us. I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? <coughs> but why? Please. Alice, just trust me. Just turn off her thing. Just... Uh, blah, blah, blah. You're free. Madam President, please! Hi. I'm just gonna stand here and look at you. Do it, Alice. Do it now. What was that? It's 
crazy. Okay. Cha-ching. You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't it's also worry. interesting to see his it's demeanor change because he thinks that that's a real girl. Come on, let's go. Haha, <laughs> peace out. Sorry, homie. Fuck! Eyes full of stars. I'm glad you like the series. We have me some too. Cash I now. love this game. You used me to steal that money. Yeah. How could you do that? I trusted you. These are not the emotions you're looking for. We needed the money. I had to find a way, Alice. I'm sorry, Alice. I'm afraid I can't do that. Alice doesn't trust me. This is such a nice part of town. Look how colorful and nice it is. All right, now I have to go in here and steal the clothes so I can look like a human and get rid of these robo clothes. Mega washer, 75 pound load. Alice, you can't come in here. You weigh more than that. You'll feel better in no time. understand don't get me wrong she's a sweetheart I love my girls I want them to do well but we have to do this because I need to get this scenario steal his beats by Dre careful now stealthy robo fingers does a clean finger twister sometimes right hand glue oh yeah steal the beanie he doesn't need it he doesn't have, uh... He doesn't have robo-needs like we do. He's just a human sent by his mom. <laughs> Alice, the laundry is done! Plus, I want to see what cool little outfits you guys get. Cute! Alice didn't really change all that much. Let's sleep in the motel. Jack, I love you. Can you have my babies? I know I know that your your name is not pizzas though. So I don't know if I can have your babies. Um, because I love pizza. Also, Kamsky ending? A motel. Don't I have to kill everybody for that? Looks like we found a place to stay. Howdy! Hi. My name is Connor. I'm the androids, I mean, uh... Um... I'd like a room. That'll be $40. Up front. Oh, man. All I have is this hundred. Just need your name and address. Um, Carol Mortenstein. <laughs> Sign. Scribble, 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 scribble. There we go. Just put my old John Hancock on it. Can I see your driver's license? I forgot it. We we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Oh, what a nice man. 
dope. Have a good night. Hope there's no naked old lady in a bathtub <laughs> in my room. Let's go, Alice. And a river full of blood. I've never stayed at a motel. Do you think he believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. We have the key, don't we? Yeah, our room is upstairs. Enter room 28. That's the bad room! King Sniper, thank you. I'm glad you like my videos. Jinkover, you wrote something in Russian and I don't know how to read that. Sorry. Zel Dingst, a little, uh, a little bonjour from France. Ah, oh, bonjour, mes amis. Comment ça va? Why am I yelling? Thank you. Optimal temp. What is the optimal temperature? Because I, I run hot, man. I can't just sit in a room with optimal temperature if it's not super cool. Here. Give me your coat. She's just standing there like, what now? Hang. Oh, don't hang yourself! Oh, the jacket. Oh, that's where you get that nice shirt from the credits. Let's remove those little shoesies. Oh my god, camera. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. Someone needs to do a fan art review, Jack, in Connor's jacket and one of his eyes is Sam. That would be awesome. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. And thank you, Jason. Dry Alice's clothes. You're a robot, can't you just like... Like shake out all the water? Or like robo squeeze all the water out? He's a hair dryer. Also, these are some of the- these are the best reflections I've ever seen in a video game. A lot of video games have like a lot of aliasing going on in the reflections because the reflection obviously isn't the same standard as the actual gameplay, but these are pretty damn good. See, how could you not tell that she was a robot? She's just sitting there. Kids don't just sit there. They're always moving around. Um... But also, this scenario isn't the coolest. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. Oh. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Uh, let's be nice. Will we be together forever? Forever. This is the same stuff that was in the car. Um, but now we're in a motel room. Amy, will you play the abandoned house route? It's really interesting. It has more options than the car and motel. Yes, I'll be doing that straight after this one. And thank you. Now. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? Do you guys sleep? Maybe I should have looked outside. Is anyone following us? <laughs> you just hear her going, powering down. 
This music's really nice. Mega. Sleep right next to her. That's cute. My girls, sleepy sleeps. Okay, that was that was basically the same as the car. Um I want to go back and do the abandoned house one. Let's face it, that was kind of lame. Not a whole lot happened. But it was interesting to see how I was so, like, ready to not upset Alice that time. To be like, I, I didn't want to steal a bunch of times because I thought that Alice would get upset and then I wouldn't have her trust. But then at the end of it, it's like, well, I stole, but she didn't really care. Everything worked out nice in the end anyway. Oh, can I not pick a checkpoint? I have to play it from the beginning. What ebbs? Helen de Cool. I love how you're going back and doing different choices. I hope that one day you'll notice me and stuff I've done for you. Oh, thank you, Helen. I think that that counts as me noticing you. <laughs> um, and yeah, these are fun. It's cool to go back and see all the different options that are in the game. There's a lot of them. Oh, I was supposed to play Connors after that? Well, we're in this scenario now, so we might as well do this. Aiden Schneider. Yes, I'm going to do it right now. Gary Hughes, I don't I don't fucking like your videos. I love them. Poop emoji. Uh, plus, you should play Dying Light 2 when it comes out. I am absolutely playing Dying Light 2 when it comes out. I'm very excited for that game. The first Dying Light has a surprising amount of people still playing it. And just has a surprising amount of people who've played it in general. off my fucking bus. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. When the mark is Connor seen, I can't if the capture card's being delayed. We have to go. Because the, the QTEs are just unwinnable if when I press the button it registers like two to three seconds later. There's, there's almost not even enough time to press them in general, so. I'll get back to them at another time. Stay here. Listen, we have nowhere to go. She's exhausted and it's pouring rain. Can we just stay for a little while? This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. Okay, Mr. Man, sorry. Will you play Cyberpunk 2077? Hell yes. That's one of my most anticipated games coming out. <laughs> Play Subnautica DLC. There is no DLC for Subnautica. You know, if there was, I would be all over it. You gonna be okay? Cara, I'm we'll cold. Find somewhere to spend the night. I don't like it out here, Cara. It's cold. The saddest little waddle that you could ever see. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Oh, you can play as Connor instead of Marcus and just fail the QTEs. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm just gonna follow you over in this direction anyway because we're going this way. Um, don't I need a wire cutters to get through it? Where do we get the wire cutters? Okay. 
Sit down so I can talk to you. Now, Alice, you're Alice, being a bold I'm little I'm okay. Robo I'm baby. So you look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. So my question is, why does he do that? Is he deviant or is he programmed by Zlatko to try and like go out there and the petition for other robots to go to we need a place for place tonight. Just so we can have more of them and then they go missing. Victoria nice. Rose, thank you. I'm glad that you were a part of it. Thank you for if even just for a small little bit. Spooky cat, please steal the little toy in the store. Does that do something? I can do this and I can do the abandoned house scene as well at the same time. I just wish there was a Look, way of- the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. Where cutters are in the at store. At least will be out of the cold. Oh, yeah. Um, I wish there was just a way of skipping some of the dialogue. Like, I can't even skip sentences. I have to watch each and every scene. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? Wire cutters by the car. Yeah, but you if I go, go through the car thing, don't anything. I have to commit to the car then if I go through the fence? If I go through it, I can't come back out and then go to the house? Or can I go into the... Because it's right next to it. Can I go into the car place and then get the wire cutters and then go through the gap and go into the house? Our... Arctic is coming as a paid DLC to sub Newt Newt. <laughs> that is all. PMA and whatnot. Really? Oh, a toy toy. Steel. Where did you hide that? Do you have some sort of bender compartment in you? I mean, does it even matter if I go one way or the other? You can leave the carpet. Okay, let's just do that then. Okay, see you later, Mistel. Come on, Alice. But if you guys are lying to me, no Subnautica DLC. I, I said it. No going back. You can get to the house from the car place. Okay, thank you, Eider, Elder. Hee! I thought if I went in here, I was committed to this because I thought it said sleep in the car when you entered the fence. Because I remember seeing the fence when I was here when I woke up in the morning. House. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. What's the matter? You didn't like any I of know. the places. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Squat in house? He's going to start squatting. Um. Okay, I can't remember what place they're in. Here. Oh. I don't know why I thought wire cutters were going to be big bolt cutters. I've watched too many prison movies where they just have the big giant ones. Of course, it would just be regular little snips. Snip. 
honest, I'm circumcising this fence. You wanna help? And we're through. Come on, Alice, it's time to go to the gym right? squad. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Yes, be careful, Robo Baby. Here we go. On you come. Atta girl. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Okay, this is all new now. I haven't done a single part of this before. Hello? Android sent by Cyberlife. Anybody? If only we had Lex Luthor with us again. He was awesome. Okay, I don't see any androids sent by Cyberlife in there. Kick it in! Alice? Alice! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Alice? Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Ralph? Look, I'm an android too. You're so is she. Be afraid of. I mean, uh... All over is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Did you get burned? Uh, you have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Like Ralph has seen some hard times. Person. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. Jeez, you got opened up. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Let's stay. I like okay. Ralph. We'll oh, just stay what? the night. <laughs> come on! Aw, oh, he's cute. Come. come, come on. Even if his face is cut open and he's brandishing like... a knife and waving it around in front of everybody. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. I like him. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Jesus, Asher, he thank you. From time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. Asher <laughs> Falareus? Honestly, the best YouTuber. Come oh. I don't know about that, but that's incredibly generous of you and very, very sweet. Thank you so much. Jesus, you didn't have to do that. Oh, follow the maniac. Follow Ralphie. Be nice to Ralph. I'm gonna be nice to Ralph. I like Ralph. You Ralph's can make my boy. Home here. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He'd like to stay with you, but he has things to do. Okay. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. What do you gotta do there, Ralphie? Right. Let's see where you can sleep. <laughs> squat in the house. Sit down and I'll start a fire. We haven't done our squats yet. I'm gonna make a gym and call it Squat Fam. Hey, I got the little teddy for you. You're gonna be happy now, right? You're gonna simulate the emotions to like the teddy bear? Make bed for Alice, start fire. Okay, what if we start a fire and make that the bed for Alice? Okay, stuff's everywhere. All right. Connor Gee, hi Jack. My friend's mom grabbed your tour manager's butt in Lincoln, and also this is an awesome stream idea. Do all the things. I remember that. <laughs> that was funny. <coughs> Wait, is this just the option to leave? Take. Ah, we can use this and break it up to make a fire. Found wood. Don't worry, Alice. Regular old MacGyver. Uh, 
And thank you, Connor. Can I play the arcade machine? See, this is the thing. All the effort that goes into making sure Alice is okay. When you look at it now, back in hindsight, it's like all this effort. When all you had to do was turn off her simulation stuff. I mean, it's still nice. And I guess it adds to the twist later on. It's just funny going back and playing it now. Is that a bed? What about the newspapers I got? Ah, there we go. Kara knows how to make a fire. You get some quick flammable things, and then you get some stuff that sustains the flame. We didn't start the fire. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. She's a fake! She robot! This lag is killing me, man. Why didn't he ever love me? Oh, here we go again. Why was he always so upset with me? Alice, I can't for a third time. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Not again! Maybe I did something wrong. He probably didn't love you because you're an android sent by Cyberlife. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. Hey Jack, it's my fiance's birthday and she'd be super happy if you said happy birthday, cat. Just to be a family. Happy birthday, cat. Uh, thanks, Patty. I just wanted him to love me. And all I wanted were some chicken happy? nuggets, but we can't always get what we want, Alice. I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Ah! Promise is a big word, Alice, but sure. I promise. Will we be together forever? Sure. Forever. I promise I will never die. Join us next time on a very special summer. You've got to sleep. This episode of Sesame Street is sponsored by water. Drink up, Ocean Man. Succulent nuggets. Sleep tight. Ralph is Android Smeagol. A ring I've corrupted him. I don't know what you're talking about, John, but... I'll get to the bottom of this. Look, Alice. Thanks. It's your favorite toy. Uh, leave her space. <laughs> leave her space. I must go now, Alice. My planet needs me. Um, where did... Where did Ralphie Ralph go? Is he upstairs? I've seen this power only once before. It didn't scare me then, but it does now. You okay there, Ralph? RA9. How's it going, buddy? Ralph9! What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Good chatting to you, Ralph. 
Let me go to sleep now. Um, don't kill me. Especially in my sleep. Oh, I should have slept with Alice. Damn. Jack, you should see about contacting Brian Deckard and doing some kind of collab Let's Play or something. He's been doing a stream at Detroit lately. Jessica, I did. And we're doing something next month. When I go to LA, hopefully. Um... We've been talking back and forth about it and both of us are... Very, very excited to do some stuff together. It's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna make him say, My name is Connor, I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Oh, I don't wanna do this. Alright, <sighs> 9 Apparently Ralph's trying to spell his name, but he's not very good at it. Go upstairs? Ah, dang, did I miss something? Diagnose. You have a cold. Should I do all of this again or just restart the other thing? You're missing a heart. What else was I missing? Oh yeah, a leg. <laughs> I'm missing an entire leg. No, upstairs is for the next morning. Oh, okay. Sorry, I keep sniffling. This level isn't that long anyway, so by the time I finish this and just... Well, this is one of my favorite scenes in the game, because the audio is just really, really good. When you get the ear thing back in, but I want to hear it again. Oh wait, unless the next scene is... Do I have to go to the investigation with... You have to play it through or your choices won't carry over. Yeah, that's what I'm also thinking. We'll do it. We have some time. Ew, get rid of that lane. Whoop! Pop it off. You don't need that pig leg. My question is how did this happen? You pushed over Leo. He cracked his head. Whatever. Cop shot you. But how did you miss all these parts? What happened to your leg? I'll be writing a very strongly worded letter to Cyberlife. Company that sends the Connor androids. That's an incompatible leg. It's got gangrene. It's got gout. It's got bad knees. You're gonna need good knees if you're gonna lead a revolution. Whoa. That's so creepy. Analyzing, processing data, compatible. Kara was doing her squats, and you're doing your sit-ups. There you go, out of boy. Whoop! Plug, plug! Brittany, thank you. Thank you for everything you do, Jack. Your videos always make me feel better. As a master student, Studying neuroscience and psychology, I really appreciate all of the charities you do. PMA. P.S. Can you teach me drums? Sorry, Brittany. I don't think that that's going to be possible, but thank you very, very much. And that's really cool. Neuroscience. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. And I appreciate everyone showing up to the charity streams all the time, so right back at you. We'll be doing another one this weekend, actually. I'm doing another charity stream on Sunday, or Saturday. 
the 30th. So, mark it in your calendars. Now, mind the hands of Hades. It's weird. It's so weird. Stop touching my face. Hey! Who grabbed that? I may be a robot, but I still have boundaries, okay? Get off me! Where are you going? Go to Jericho. Sookie, Sookie, no! Okay, this time I'm just stealing stuff from people. Incompatible. That's not the heart for me. Hello? You guys are useless to me, okay? I need something better. Well, can't fucking use that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get off me there! I don't like that. I don't like being touched. Listen to the audio, it's so cool. Hey, now. Keep your hands to yourself, Marcus. Keep your hands to yourself. Sorry. I've uh, I've another scene to get to, and I know how this plays out, and it's really not that important in the end. Plug it in. Make a dog bot? Oh, that would be cool. This is the sad thing about the universe in this game. What's that? I can't hear you. My my audio receptors aren't working. Oh, she's dead now. I guess it doesn't matter. What's up, dazzling Dracu? And Venom Strike Origins, you don't need to thank me. But I appreciate it. Alright, uh, I'm not fully powered again yet. Excuse me, sir, can I have your eye? If you have a problem Hello. with it, say no! I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact me near and try to like me. Still messed up, man. It's okay, I'm gonna take your eye and I'm gonna go get some, um... I'm gonna get some help. I'm gonna liberate people! Alicia Ward, try and find a Kara model for an Easter egg. Ooh, is there a Kara model in here? That actually works. Where would the Kara model be, though? That is the question. Explored this place. No, I don't want to do this yet. Damn it. Okay, I'll take the the audio thing. I still have time anyway. Now this is the cool, the cool audio. That's 
so cool. So everything just kicks back in at once. The audio processor and then search for there. I do have time. Should it be obvious? There your fight. I'm stuck in the ground. She's singing. What was that? Oh, because somebody asked her to sing something in Japanese. Now sing something in Japanese. That's the first Kara. Is that the one he destroyed? From the uh, the tech demo. Damn. That's cool! God, it's been so long since I watched that trailer. That's a cool easter egg, I like that. Does that mean the one we're playing as is not the same one from the... the tech demo all those years ago? That's like seven years ago by now, isn't it? Climb Robo Moses, Jesus! Oh yeah, Kara was repaired. Our Kara was repaired, not destroyed. What happened to the other playlists? I have no idea. On mobile... Mobile, when you go to my channel, some people can't see any playlists anymore, except one that I saved. That has nothing got to do with my channel. Um, and I asked YouTube about it, and they're going to look into it. Apparently it's just a bug. So, I don't know. I'm just as confused as everybody else is. To me, it was working perfectly. Carve it out. Whoa! Still think it's weird that that's all you need to do to get the get rid of it, and then it just heals up and it looks exactly human. <laughs> mm. Mike forever. It's the yodeling kid. <laughs> Kind of sound like it. The remix of the Yodeling Kid. Grace says, I'm pretty sure she's winging, winging, or singing the song from Sakura Sakura. My name is Marcus. I am the android sent by Cyberlife. Start from the beginning? No, I'm just playing through some scenes near the start that I can do slightly differently. Is the next one the investigation with Hank and Connor? Yep.
Because I want to get to the next car scene, and I don't want to go back to the menu in case it doesn't save the stuff with Ralph. So we'll just play through it until that point. Hello, Amanda. Now I kind of know why I'm here and what I'm doing. And why this place exists. And it's all nice and peaceful and tranquil now because Connor has no deviancy. It all makes sense. Hello, Amanda. Connor. Hi. It's good to see you. Your predecessor was in Hey, Jack, my girlfriend destroyed. and I love watching your videos, so it would mean the world if you gave her a shout out. Her name is Skylar. But Keep up with that PMA. Hi, Skylar. Oh, thanks, Ethan. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Hey, Jack, do you remember the game Absolver? The developers have updated destroyed. a lot, and it's pretty balanced now. Be better for Maybe you go back against and the that. investigation. Maybe I should. That was a fun game. I understand. I really like the style of that game as the well. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Uh, it showed know. all the signs of deviancy, cognitive instability unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. It was even afraid to die. The model was clearly defective. I wish he finished every sentence with, my name is Connor. Been officially assigned and the android said by Cyberlife. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. Yep. What do you think is the best approach? Uh, be friendly. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. Oops. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More Sorry, and Anna. more androids show signs of deviancy. There are just get over this. <sighs> if they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Haha, <laughs> there it is. The Android sent by Connor Life. Out what's I mean, happening, it's you. Connor, the Cyber sent by Android Life. I mean, Android sent by Connor. Fuck! Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. First there's little time. Then there's a little cruise. I have to wait at his desk. I messed all this up last time as well. I didn't mess it up, but... Now I can actually go and listen to what he hears in the you? briefing. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Yes. My name is Connor. I am the android sent by Cyberlife. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Thanks, Tiffany. Oh, shit. The fucking machine can kill everyone in the room. What is up, fellow detectives? It is me, Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Maybe you're trying out a new form of red ice. Oh. I mean, I knew where it was anyway, but I never actually asked. Hey, it's Todd! I never knew Todd was in here. He's given a report about Kara going missing. That's awesome! Now I can go... Oh, I can't do this scene until Hank gets here. Boo! Ah. Lieutenant Anderson! Wake up, Lieutenant! <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. Zing! If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Double zing! Why do I want to sit down and wait for him? He 
He's so cute. I think he's waiting for the teacher to show up. Um. I can go do this or I can learn more about Hank. Uh, I want to do this scene. I want to see if I can actually get this shithead some coffee. Shit. Look at that. A fucking ghost. Because I was shot the first time. His clone ends up in the dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. <laughs> Uh, introduce. Hello, my name is Connor. Ah, you're the androids that have my life! Come on, man! Never seen an android like you before. Muller. A sexy one? RK-800. I'm my, a prototype. It's written on my jacket, no nuts. Android detective. So machine's gonna... Replace us all. Is that it? No, just you. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! I want to see what happens if you actually get him a coffee. <laughs> oh, Connor, don't do it. I know I'm telling you to, but you're so innocent and harmless and cute. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of my way. He got you coffee! Oh no! It's like watching a child. The coffee though. Several sources report that Cyberlife provided Detroit police with a coffee. prototype detective android. Although Banana? Have oh Connor, he's so cute. Hey, Hello, Hankford. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, yes! I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank, in my office. Okay, this time I didn't, or the last time I didn't go with him and I missed all of this dialogue, so this is something that I want to do now. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. <laughs> I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hey. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn <laughs> mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Oof. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. This scene is great. <laughs> Hank's nuts roasting on an open fire. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. <laughs> I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> oh, Connor. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so sad I Have missed that. Have a nice that. day, Captain. So sad I missed that the first time through. That was awesome. Oh, now Hank's sitting at his desk all sulky. Can I sit at my desk? Or do I have to talk to Hank? I have to talk to Hank. It's okay, Hank. Connor's here. Your best friend. You like him, right? I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. He's trying to smile. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Oh, I didn't check his desk, so I don't know any of the information. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Oh, I want some donuts. Thank you, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sitting by Cyberlife. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I like he's just sitting there like all hunched over his keyboard. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? A wizard is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Take a look. Lab report says they can. Uh, this must have been so much fun to record these lines and scenes and everything. That's a Jerry. Right? Working as a waiter in the fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain. So they're like service droids. There's North. Uh, there's Leo. Oh. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. That was the same. Yeah, yeah. It's cool to go back and read these again after everything that happens. That's. Kara. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have assaulted a man. Hey, we are going to this one next. Okay, this is what that I want. Could wanted. be a good starting point for our investigation. Wake up, Lieutenant. We're heading out. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? To threaten? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. Oh, and this stuff doesn't even really matter until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that attacked the guy last night. It's I just want to get to the next scene, because I, I don't know what any of it is. I'm on it. All this stuff we've already played. It's probably not a time, but can I suggest for you to look at RimWorld? It's a bit similar to Oxygen Not Included. It's a colony, colony management game, but it's more interactive than Oxygen Not Included. Thank you, Darth. I I thought about playing it at one point, but 
Um, I don't know, it seemed like there was a lot to it. It was very complex and I just didn't really have the time. Oh, I don't have to do the whole Marcus scene next, do I? Please, no. No. We're at the scene! Okay. We haven't been stabbed to death in our sleep, that's good. So you do sleep. to see what happens if I go upstairs. If I, uh, revive fire. Medic! Oh. That also changed my appearance. Do I have to revive the fire? Ralph? What's this written in, Ralph? Hope it's not human blood. <laughs> okay, we won't wake Alice yet. Poke, poke. Kind of cozy with the little fire. Wait till Alice wakes. Okay. Ah, God. The characters do not control very fast in this game. Hey, hey now we can go upstairs. Open the door. There you go. Ralphie? Ralphster! Are you behind the curtain? Are you gonna jump out and stab me? Hate shower curtains. Knock, knock! Don't pop out, don't pop out, don't pop out. Oh, that's fine. Ooh, nice jacket. That place is ugly. Okay, it's abandoned. They tried their best. Just because they have like bells for lights. Look at Swank, like Hillary. Cut hair. Hmm. If only there was a knife somewhere that somebody had. Don't pop out, Ralph. There's scissors in here. I can't like interact. Oh, there's a fucking hand. <laughs> I don't like it. I can't open the shower curtain. I just tried. Let's make her hair light this time. Snip. I wonder what android hair is made out of. Jesus, Ash. 
ASH2. Hey, Jack, I love you. Gee, thank you. My god. That's way too much. White hair or blonde hair? But thank you, seriously. I like the blonde. White hair? Oh. The blonde is so nice. It's so weird that you can just change it like that. I'm going blonde. I like the blonde hair. Daddy Yankee. Perfect. No, you're not, Kara. You're Valerie Curry. Can I investigate this at all? Oh, I can. Oh my god, having the fucking delay plus the way these characters control. That's a- that's a man! That's not an android! That's not an android, that's a guy! <laughs> or- or Ralphie! Hey, there he is! The android set by Cyberlife! Alright. That's all for now. Ready to go. Jesus! I thought there was gonna be another android dead in there. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Small Peachy, thank you. Thank you so much for saving my life, for being there for me. It took but no one else is. You're on. honestly the best, Sean, and I'm planning to get a PMA tattoo, and I will always remember to stay positive. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven That's by so fear. That's so sweet. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. Thank you so they much. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. I really appreciate it that. I hope plan, that your tattoo turns out well. And it had no I want to get one uh, PMA tattoo myself. Somewhere. Maybe it like, go far. Maybe here. Across my wrist. Maybe. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> come. Come and sit down. That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? No, I <laughs> guess not. Great. Be great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. Oh, that's why everyone was saying succulent. I get it now. Father, mother, little girl. Please, Cara. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said yum! She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. Cara, you fucking Ralph asshole. That's not what I best, said. The biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Ugh, stop saying succulent. succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Succulent. <laughs> Yum. Rob, a fucking freak. I saw the body upstairs. 
You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. He died of natural stabbings. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. No. It's just that... Ralph can control his anger. Succulent. When his anger comes, Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He, he becomes stupid. Hatred. I'm sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Good start. Then let us go. We may need some lessons. Anybody home? <gasps> That's Connor, the android set by Cyberlife. There's blue blood on the fence. Succulent! I mean, Connor! No other android was here. Ooh. My god, I didn't get to do any of this when I played. This is awesome! Go, Connor. Go, Con Con Man! My boy! My beautiful bouncy boy! Ooh, I can do a little peep! Give a little peep there, Con! A little peeparoo! Hello? Ralph Maggio. Scan Android. Scan Droid. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. You're lying, Ralphie. Androids don't need heat. Uh -huh. What else can we look at? Oh, I can actually scan him. Okay. What's going on with Ralphie? Burn mark. Oh wait, there was more information. God, this lag, I'm gonna kill an android. Irreversible skin damage, probable cause extreme heat. They look like claw marks. Maybe Wolverine got to him. Model WR600, a gardener. Reported missing. What else can I check? Oh, God. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction moderate. Okay. Find source of android stress. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Huh, okay. This time, I need to keep your stress in the blue, now that I know that I messed it up the last time. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Can I not check the... the dinner table? There we go. Table set for three people. Food? Androids don't eat. Oh, Pac-Man! My favorite! There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. <laughs> that Ralph blood! Ralph see nobody! Ralph good! Oh, everything lagged and froze. Nice! Nice stuff! Can I just go upstairs? Oh, his stress is getting higher. They're up here, aren't is they, Ralphie? Upstairs? No. Nobody. Where are they hiding? Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? 
Coming, Lieutenant! I have to keep it red? Well, I don't really... Oh, I get it. He gets stressed out the closer I get to them. Okay. Ah, I see. Ah! Hello! Run quick, Kara! Ralph, no! Ow! My cyber ass! Connor, what's going on? It's here! Call it in! Oh god, you're gonna make me do QTEs. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. This lag is gonna kill me! This is completely different this way. The last time I did this, I was just hiding from cops. Now I'm doing a full-on chase scene. This is awesome. Come back, Kara! Come out and play, eh? They're over there. Okay, well, run after them. <laughs> or shoot at them or something. I mean, don't, because they're my girls. Don't shoot, we need it alive. So they made super early this way. It's cool to have holograms warning you not to go across the barriers. Oh jeez, can I actually get you killed here? Oh fuck, that's insane. Oh no, it is going to get me killed. Oh god. Okay. The, I, the delay is too strong. I literally can't. I can't. Even enough time to do it. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. See you later. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get Connor killed. It, it literally does not let me. Oh, Connor, no, no, Connor, no, no, no. I did it! You motherfucker! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus oh, shit! <laughs> Got her now! Oh, <laughs> really, the QTEs is funny! Oh god! Oh shit! Ooh! We got it! We got, I, I'm hitting the buttons! Okay, okay, you're fine. You're fine, just get out of there. Are you okay? Oh my god, they were falling on their asses all over the place. That was awesome. Those aren't motion. I know, I was flicking the stick and doing motion at the same time just to cover my ass. Oh, oh that was awesome. <laughs> oh, poor Connor. Poor android sent by Cyberlife. <coughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Just see him being like, I'm going after them, Lieutenant. And then he like jumps over the barriers, slaps onto the ground. <laughs> oh, poor Con Con man. Jesus. Input delay and QTEs do not go together. Oh, man. I missed some messages. Jesus, Ash. Jack, do you keep these streams in a playlist or something? I... I don't think I keep them in a playlist. I probably should go back and try and find them. Um, and put them all into a playlist. But I, I do upload them afterwards anyway. So anything that I play here on YouTube during a stream will be up on the channel later on anyway. So probably haven't even noticed that some of them were streams because they're just uploaded normally. Fix the lag? I can't. I'd have to end the stream. I'd have to close OBS and reopen it and then... It would split it into two streams, and I'm going to be ending the stream here now anyway, because um, i got to eat. Um, and we've been streaming for like two and a half hours. So, and the longer I go on, the worse the delay gets. So, I'll come back again and I'll play more Detroit, because I love it. There's still so many options to do. That whole scene played out, and I missed all of that last time. I slept in the car, I changed her hair, I left, and then I snuck past Connor and Hank... And it was so anticlimactic. This is way more intense. 
And Connor and Kara actually get to see each other face to face for the first time, like way early on. Um, I didn't know that. I didn't know all that seems there. We met a whole character. We got a whole little subplot that wasn't even there when I played it. Ralph was fun, and we got a whole succulent scene. Everything is succulent. Super succulent. Maybe I should just change the naming the name of the stream to Succulent. Um Leah, thank you. Thank you for all the PMA. It has helped me through a very tough period. I love you so much. That's so sweet. I'm glad. I'm glad the PMA is helping people. It's helping me as well. We have it on the board as well. PMA! Always remember the PMA. I should have just done it this way. PMA! <laughs> um, well, thank you. I appreciate it. The PMA stuff will be kicking up a lot more soon. Um, I'm hoping to get the, the PMA clothing stuff out very, very soon. And hopefully we can get that going. But thank you guys for hanging out in the stream. Um, that was really fun. I, I had a blast playing that. I'll be back with more Detroit streams soon. We have so many more options to go through. We have so many more scenarios to go through. Um, I might even do some of it during, again, as I said, charity stream, Saturday, the 30th. I, I'll probably do some of the, the scenes in that stream because we'll have a lot more time. We'll be here all day just playing games, trying to raise some money. So I'll, I'll do more then. Um... But I, I, I might even do more before that. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for being here and watching the stream. Thank you guys for all the, the sponsors and donations and super chats and everything. You guys don't need to do that, but it's, it's very, very generous of you. I promise that it'll go towards something worthwhile. Um, and I'll, I'll probably put the majority of it, if not all of it, to um, depending on how much is there, towards the, the charity stream on Saturday as well. So just thank you guys so much. Um, for being so kind and so generous all the time and just being here and spending your time with me. It really means a lot um, But I'm gonna go now uh, Thank you to everybody who hung out in chat as well. It was really fun and you guys helped me out with some of the scenarios So I appreciate that So have a good rest of your day. I'll be back Tomorrow as I always am. I still have a sickness that I'm trying to get over but I'll get there. Bye. Thanks guys. See you later <laughs>